Next story in New Haven tonight to a killer still on the loose after a triple shooting takes the life of a teenager. We're learning more about that third victim tonight. He's just 16 years old and made headlines nearly eight years ago for what he was doing on the pitching mound. News 8's Noel Gardner is live tonight at the New Haven Police Department with more tonight on the search for that shooting suspect. Noel? Good evening, Ann and Darren. That's right, and police say there is a third victim in this case. Meanwhile, I went to Wilbur Cross High School today. I talked to the principal. She says the students are in shock, but they do have a crisis plan in place with grief counselors on hand to extra security. It was a somber day for students and faculty at Wilbur Cross High School after 16-year-old Jericho Scott was struck and killed by gunfire over the weekend. Scott and 20-year-old Justin Compress were shot on Exchange Street near Blatchley Avenue early Sunday morning. Today, school officials had a crisis plan in place to help students. We had multiple people greeting our students as they came in. We have two entrances, the boys' entrance and the girls' entrance. So we had about five additional staff members there who were greeting our students. And a lot of it was just seeing them giving them a hug. Grief counselors, social workers, and a school psychiatrist are on hand at Wilbur Cross, plus additional police officers. We had some additional uh, police presence just in case what happened in the community spilled over. Today, Mayor Tony Harp activated an emergency youth meeting with school and community partners to address the shooting and reach out to disengaged youth at risk for violence. In the last year, city leaders have been stepping up foot patrols in a grassroots effort to stop violence in New Haven after 16-year-old Torrance Gamble, a Riverside Academy student, was fatally shot on Daggett Street in April of 2014. A year later, Leroy Scott is mourning the loss of his 16-year-old son. He brought that extra something to the family. And him not being here, our household would never be the same. Scott says the New Haven police chief has visited his family since the tragedy. The chief of police has been checking in on a regular. And I believe, I sincerely believe that um, they're putting forth their best efforts. And tomorrow, students and staff will wear red. It was Jericho's favorite color, and it's also the color of the school, and they will wear red in memory of Jericho. And also, there is a third victim in this case. I'll have more on that coming up at 6. For now, I'm live outside the New Haven Police Department. Noel Gardner, News 8.